welcome, welcome. Oh, si Mom Jessie. Ito ni G. Here ni G. Yan. Yeah. Yeah. This is Kikai. Si oh. Monica and Rina, of course, you know. Have a seat, Mom. Welcome, welcome back please, please. po. Welcome. Dito, oh, welcome back. Pumayot ka, ha? Ay! <laughs> that made my year. Dito ka, Mom. Upo ka dito niya. Dito, ha? Dito ka, ha? Oh. Si Mom Jessie. Kailan daw dapat talaga, you should give a compliment to every person you meet. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Eh, wala siyang maiisip kasi sinabi, payat mo. Bawa ka naman, kuya! Oo, kaya sana kuya eh. Bigay mo mga invalidate. Kanina ko pa pinarepare yun eh. Talaga naman, o. Yung bang, ano, yung bang trabaho sa mga nasa talk shop. Oo, tamang-tama. Oo, kuya. Among others. Among others. O, tama-tama, introduce ko lang siya sa inyo. Si Ms. Sheila Viesca, nagbabalik siya. Good morning and welcome back. Good morning, Good morning, Angela. Kuya. It's great to be back here. Of course. Na-miss ka namin, ha? Ah. Oh, I also miss this show. Oo. Oh, oh. Di ano bang pag-uusapan natin ngayon? Ah, I was asked to prepare for personal effectiveness. Personal effectiveness. So, pwede rin yan sa mga uh, nagtatrabaho, di ba? Mga naghahanap ng trabaho. Di ba? Yeah. Sa trabaho. As a matter of fact, it's more applicable to management. Mm -hmm. Management, leadership, employment. Mm -hmm. Although, ang pinanggalingan nito, yung positive thinking, mm -mm. yung mga new age uh, thought. Mm -mm -mm. Kaya lang ngayon, hindi mo na pwedeng ihiwalay eh, yung pagkatao mo mm -mm. sa gagawin mo sa trabaho. Mm -mm -mm. So, in effect, what you are in your uh, personal life is what you communicate to your colleagues. Mm -hmm. Paano po ba makapag-communicate ng maayos? Kasi usually yun nagiging problema. Kasi yung iba, like kanina pinag-uusapan natin ng bagong graduate, top notcher sa school. Mm -hmm. But then again, pagdating sa job interviews or pag-handle ng sarili niya sa mga job interviews, mismo sa work niya, in, nagkakaroon siya ng difficulties. Yeah, and um, as a matter of fact, even the parents of uh, top notch students would ask me, bakit hindi pa makahanap ng trabaho yung anak ko ilang beses nang nag apply mm -hmm. Tapos hindi natatanggap. Okay naman to magaling sa eskwela, mabait na bata. Mm -hmm. the, the high grades usually do not, uh, do not get translated to immediate hire. Uh -huh. um, unfortunately, what you feel, what you are inside, is not obvious right away. Mm -hmm. Kaya kailangan mo ng training. Mm -hmm. So if, uh, if we will narrow it down to one, ang... Uh, ang importante siguro, lagi kang may, uh, may malalim na pinanggagalingan. Mm -hmm, may paghuhugutan ka. Uh, uh, ano, uh, Ma'am Sheila, uh, hindi ako masyadong specific pagka, limbawa, nag, uh, uh, may, may applicants. Mm -hmm. Kaya huwag akong resume. Hindi ako masyadong ano dun sa, uh, ito, valedictorian, ito, ganito, mataas yung mga grades dun sa uh, ano, transcript, transcript of records. Daming extra curriculum. Mm -hmm. Oh, kasi <coughs> parang parang sa akin eh ano eh <coughs> depende yon na kung papaano mo nga sinasabi niyo maitatranslate yung pagiging valedictorian o pagiging cum laude mo doon sa actual uh, practice of the job na mm -hmm. uh, papasukan mo di ba dahil mm -hmm. parang eh, kung meron kang work attitude kung meron kang ibang klase ng pananaw iba yung perspective mo eh, sabi niyo nga in personal Uh, personal mong pagkatao, di mo mai... Well, kasi you will be able to bring your attitude sa trabaho mo eh. Mm -hmm. Yung mapapasok. Kaya paano mo translate yun? So parang yung sinasabi ninyo ngayon, personal effectiveness, dapat tignan, i-assess mo muna din yung uh, ikaw mismo. Ano? Uh -huh. Yung saan ka nang gagaling, ano yung pinaguhugutan mo, uh -huh. ano yung pundasyon mo. Yeah. Dahil yun mismo ang i-apply mo pagdating mo sa trabaho. Uh -huh. That's right. Yan yung thinking uh, ng uh, karamihan sa uh -huh. mga sa mga taong nag-hire ng empleyado ngayon. Uh -huh. Pag matalino yung uh, Uh, employer, he will not look at the grades. Mm -mm. He will look at the entirety of the person. Mm -mm. Ano yung dating mo? Yung bigat mo? Mm -mm. At yung bigat mo, hindi mo pwedeng i-fake dahil maganda yung damit mo, maganda yung bag mo, bago yung cellphone mo, hindi dyan makikita yan. Follow, huh? Not even your grades. Mm -mm. Um, if, uh, if we look through history at saka yung mga ina-admire natin mga leaders, ano ba yung, uh, ano ba yung common sa kanila? Na, na nagbigay sa kanila ng sinatawag na gravitas yung dating. Um, from the Gandhis to the Einsteins to the Sigmund Freuds, etc. Et Confidence. Dropouts. <laughs> Dropouts. <laughs> authenticity. Oh, authenticity. Tao, si Mark they, Zuckerberg ng Facebook, oh, oh, di ba? Yun. They follow their heart. And when they follow their heart, they found their mission. Mm -hmm. And they found their mission because 
pag may ginagawa sila, ang lalim nila, tinatanong nila, bakit ako gagawa ng ganito? And that's what people sense. Parang sinasabi niyo po, eh, yung mga matatalino ding iba, na matataas ang grades, mga ano, na ikukubli nila yung tunay nilang pagkatao kung minsan sa pag-aaral sa pamamagitan noong kanilang nakukuhang mataas na antas sa eskwelahan. Oh. But sa likod noon, eh merong iba sila na hindi authentic. Parang yung kanilang, parang nagagawa nila na ganito ang approach for the reason na matalino sila. Mm. Pero hindi authentic. Yeah. Kumbaga parang isang artista na marunong umarte na naikukubli yung kanyang pagkatao doon sa kagalingan niya ng pag-arte. Pero in reality, eh hindi siya ganon. So mm -hmm. later on, lumilitaw yun. Correct. Dahil el natural, no pwede kitar. Sabi mm -hmm. nga niya. Pero ma'am, ano ba yun? Genetic ba yan o environment? Meaning, produkto ba yan ng, ng yung kanyang yung kanyang na, naging experience mm -hmm. o dahil sa yun talaga yung genetic makeup ng kanyang oh. katawan ng kanyang upbringing, upbringing. upbringing. We, are, we are born with certain personalities that get formed and firmed at the age of seven mm -hmm. but because of our social exposure we become more of who we are and definitely there are personalities who thrive when it comes to social setting kaya nilang ilabas talaga yung tunay mm -hmm. na sila But there are personalities who have to go through several steps. Kailangan nilang i-train yung sarili nila. Uh, so, But trainable oh, naman siya trainable in a way. Trainable yun. Oh. And ultimately, it boils down to the decision one makes. Mm -hmm. yung, uh, yung nabanggit ni Kuya na, kung ganun ka sa pag-aaral mo, bakit iba yung lumilitaw pag mm -hmm. ini-interview ka? Mm -hmm. Maybe you have to go back. Ano ba yung, uh, ano ba yung commitment mo? Mm -hmm. Ano yung dedication mo when you, are in, when you were in school? Mm -hmm. So ano ba yung nagmo-motivate sa'yo? What drives you on a daily basis? Mm -hmm. Bakit pag in-interview ka, ang iniisip mo lang, ano ba yung gagawin ko? Ano ba poise ko? Ano ba posture ko? Ano ba yung sasabihin ko? Mm -hmm. Tanungin mo, bakit ka nandun? What do you want to do in your life? And that's the energy that you get to communicate. Mm -hmm. Bakit ka nag-aral? Bakit ka nag-sumikap uh, sa grades mo? Mm -hmm. At bakit mo kinalimutan yun nung in-interview ka? Mm -hmm. Diba? I-connect mo because you are made of several uh, several uh, good experiences and introspection. Kumpleto ka na eh. So, pag in-interview ka at sinabi mo yung uh, at uh, uh, pumunta ka sa kailaliman ng iyong pagkatao at tinanong mo yung sarili mo, bakit ba ako nandito? Most likely, you will get the right answer. I am here because I want to care for my family. I want to give my best in what I do. Hindi mo masasabi ng sablay na, well, uh, kasi po, um, gusto kong uh, uh, mag-succeed. Ang babaw nun. Uh, 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 diba? Ang babaw nung pinanggagalingan nun. I, uh, I, I feel that mission, mission is something that that you don't develop over time. Mm -hmm. Mission is something that you have to embrace. Mm -hmm. Kasi ito yung, ito yung mga pinag-adaanan mo araw-araw na napag-iisipan mo, ah, okay, kaya pala ako gumigising, gumigising sa umaga dahil dito. Ah, okay, kaya pala kailangan mag-improve ako sa sarili ko dahil dito. Yun ang dadalin mo, pagkausap mo yung kahit sinong tao. So you're saying, yeah, it should actually emanate talaga yung, yung end in mind. Kung what is your real goal? Kasi mm -hmm. if you know your goal, you will be able to know your wants. Mm -hmm. Pagka alam mo naman yung want mo, you will be able to recognize your opportunities. Mm -hmm. At kaya mong i-express at sabihin kung ano talaga ang magiging contributory factors mm -hmm. in achieving your goal. So mm -hmm. each opportunity na may encounter mo, alam mo which one to take. Parang, okay, this one is for me because this is what I want. And this is where I am heading to. And this is uh, the way to reach my goal. Parang, yes. uh, alam, determinado ka na, kaya ako gusto to, eto, 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 eto. Yes. Kaya, alam mong sabihin. Ang sinasabi po ninyo is, kailangan ma-express mo yung gusto mo based dun sa authentic na Uh, talagang pinanggagalingan mo bakit oh. mo gusto yun. Yes, mm -hmm. and no amount of training can dictate to you kung ano mm -hmm. yung tamang answer. Mm -hmm. Because the moment it becomes scripted, mararam mararamdaman nyo nung kausap Oo, mo. Oo, na walang na authenticity, lang lindo, walang na, sincerity. Yes, Pinabisado lang. Ano? Uh -huh. How do you measure yung personal effectiveness? Uh -huh. Yung ba yun eh, goal as against accomplishment? Paano kung yung accomplishment mo is medyo mababa dun sa naset mo na goal? Pa Ibig sabihin, hindi ka na-effective, personally. 
Well, there's a study by this uh, Italian economist, si uh, Pareto. Uh, sabi niya, there's this 80-20 rule. Hindi naman laging ganun yung proportion. Pero usually, kung ano yung small efforts mo, basta concentrated, will give you 80% of the results. So, personal effectiveness can be that, but it means a lot of things to different people in different proportion. Kung ano yung nakakapagpasaya sa'yo, yun ang mapagbubuti mo. Pero kailangan, alam mo kung bakit. Um, uh, Kuya mentioned uh, setting the goal. Begin with the end in mind, sabi nga ni Stephen Covey. Mm -hmm. And that's as true in leadership as it is in communication. Di ba, pag pupunta ka naman sa isang, sa isang lugar, titignan mo yung ways kailan, hindi pag nakarating ka na doon. Oo, oh, oh, before. Bago ka nakapunta. Oo, oh, oh. Kailangan plan. planuhin mo yung buhay mo, planuhin mo yung sasabihin mo, planuhin mo yung action mo. And it does not happen when you are in the interview setting. It happens on a regular basis, day by day, makuha ka man doon sa trabaho yun o hindi, tuloy ang plano. Kailangan inaayos mo base sa kung ano yung makakapagpasaya sa'yo. Mm -hmm. Dahil kung ano yung makakapagpasaya sa'yo, yun ang... Uh, you will be more dun, dun effective. Puma, dun pumapasok yung principle ko minsan sinasabi nila. Kasi minsan sinasabi, di ba? Don't just sit there, do something. Pero pagka inumpisahan mo talaga sa umpisa, don't just do something, sit there and plan mm -hmm. para before you do something else. The para bago mo gawin isang bag. And it actually brings back to me the time that I was being interviewed after graduation. Yung sinasabi ko, kinukwento ko madalas, na tinatanong ako nang nag-interview sa akin kung ano experience ko. Eh, gag, baka gagraduate ko nga lang eh. So, ang sinagot ko talaga doon, eh, kung lahat po ng papasukan ko, ang hahanapin sa akin yung experience ko, hindi na ho ako magkakaroon ng experience. Mm -hmm. So, ako, ako noon talagang ang inilalabang ko, just give me the chance and uh, I will try to prove myself if in case it will fall short of your expectation, then let go of me. Papabayaan, papakawalan nyo na lang ho. But if you think that I am worthy to be one of your employees, then I would appreciate that. Ako kasi, ang inalilalabang ko, kahit di nyo ako pasweldohin sa ilang buwan, basta just give me the chance para mapakita ko kung ano yung meron ako, kung ano yung pwede kong magawa. Kasi determinado ako na na kung para sa akin to, para sa akin to. And I know what I want. Yeah. I would like to make mention, Kuya, that at Talk Shop, we also teach how to uh, handle interviews and how mm -hmm. to handle the toughest interview questions. Mm -hmm. And you just gave one of the most remarkable answers to one of the toughest interview mm -hmm. questions that can be given. However, if that question, if that answer is given by someone who just listened to you, tapos inulit lang, iba pa rin yung dating, oh. di ba? Exactly. Oh. Kasi ano eh, if it, if it comes from a sincere, parang a sincere heart that gives an answer to a question na hindi sarcastic, hindi, kasi it depends also on how you're going to say it. Say it, eh. it Di ba pagka sinabi mo siya ng, oh, eh, yeah, well, if well, all of those people who will interview me will ask me of my experience and I will not be able to get one. Eh, medyo may mayabang ka pala. Uh, get out of here. Parang, uh, sige, parang, di ba, parang, uh, kasi pwedeng maging mayabang ang dating mo dun eh. But okay. it can be also something na maintindihan din nung nag interview sa sa'yo na you really want the job. Yes. Na parang gusto mo lang maipakita. Ano ba yung toughest question na alam po ninyo sa isang interview? Halimbawa, uh, kayo, kayo yung mag interview Halimbawa, ako applicant. What would be the the toughest question that you would throw at me para mag-gauge ninyo kung ako ba itatanggapin ninyo o hindi? Okay, sinceridad ba? You would be surprised, Kuya. It's this uh, seemingly uh, simple. Uh, seemingly uh, simple and uh, uh, very comfortable question. Tell me about yourself. Okay. Nawiwindang talaga uh -huh. yung mga sumasagot. Uh -huh. At bakit sila nagkakamali sa sagot nila? Isipin mo yung message mo kasing importante nung ine-expect nung taong kausap mo. Mm -hmm. Dahil kung employer yan, tell me about yourself, hindi pwedeng yung script mo sa kaibigan mo, sa best friend mo. Oh, sasabihin mo, uh, uh, I am Angela Lagunsad. I came from <laughs> Quezon City! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. oh, oh. And understanding why that person asked you, tell me about yourself. Uh -oh will get you to that uh, to that level of consciousness na may isip mo ano nga ba pwede kong i-contribute dito 
Or ano nga ba gusto niya marinig sa akin? Kailangan hindi sagot ng sagot. Give yourself that two seconds. Pwede ka namang mag- uh, Mag-reflect muna, two seconds. Oh, ikaw, Attorney seconds. George, ano ang sasagot mo pag tinanong ka? Tell me about yourself. Oo nga, Attorney. Ah, ako? Oo. Uh, eh, tell me first about yourself. <laughs> pwede, ikaw. Pwede mo, di pwede sabihin sa nag-interview sa'yo yun. Uh, sasabihin sa'yo yun, ay, lumakas ka nga dito, baka palukin kita ng... Hindi, <laughs> uh, uh, paano, paano, oh, si, sino sa'yo? Oh, ikaw, tell me about yourself. Uh, ano, uh, Monica? Ang daling tanong yun. Pag-a-tila ka mo. With a simple heart. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, ako sa sagot ko don. That's for you to find out. Yeah. That's why I think you need to give me a chance to be part of your company because you will know more of me. Because I believe that if you want to know someone, you need to go deeper, and that deepest part of me cannot just be revealed in an interview. Thank you for that wonderful answer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ilang job interview ka ba? Anong kabataan mo? Mukhang hasang-hasa ka, kuya. Alam niyo po, lahat na, na lahat ng kabataan ko, pati ho pagtitinda ng encyclopedia, napasukan ko. Nag-driver <laughs> tayo si kuya. Pero yan din ang sinasabi ko sa mga kabataan. Mm -hmm. Pag hindi kayo natanggap, okay lang. Try Next try. interview. Next oh. interview. Hindi ako, ako, ako po kasi nung nag apply ako, ah, parang ang sa akin nun, I don't care kung tanggapin ako o hindi. Basta, pagka ako, ang paniwala ako kasi, eh, bago ako umalis, bago ako pumunta sa job interview, mananalangin ako eh. I will pray and I will ask for it. Sasabihin ko, you know better and you know the best for me. Kung para sa akin po ito, you can, you can give it to me easily eh. But if you don't want me to uh, do this, kung hindi mo ibibigay sa akin to, kahit maglupasay ako dito, wala akong magagawa. Yeah, so, I, ang, ako, ang hinihingi ko lang, gusto ko po ito sana. But there are things that I do not know. So if you think that okay ako dito, then kung pwede sana, bigay mo naman sa akin. Mm -hmm. Kung hindi, ikaw ang gumawa ng paraan para wag ako matanggap. Andali mo naman magawa yun. Mm -hmm. Pero kung para sa akin to, alam ko, kahit sumablay ako sa interview, matatanggap ako dito. Mm -hmm. So ako pagpasok ko, I, I, just, I just do it. Parang okay, okay, let's sit down. I'll answer it from my heart. Kung ano yung sincerest uh, thing na alam ko, I always parang answer dun sa paraan na yun yung nararamdaman ko. Mm -hmm. And yun ang alam kong sagot. I will not try to pretend to be somebody na hindi naman hindi ako. Hindi naman ikaw. Kasi pa parang ang alam ko, later on, it will be revealed eh. Kahit matanggap ka dyan, matatanggal ka din and you will not be effective kung mm -hmm. nagpanggap ka lang. Yeah. Kaya yung isang in-applyan ko, naubos ang exam nila sa akin eh. Pati ba naman exam ng sekretarya eh, tina, inano sa akin eh. Ano yun ah? I was applying for an audiovisual supervisor in a company which is not media related. Pero it's an audiovisual supervision that, we, that will be assigned to me. Eh, ako daw ang supervisor. Magtataka ako, lahat, pati yung tornilyo, ang, eh, pati yung mga ano, lahat tinatanong sa akin. Pati yung paano mo, eh, ano ang shortest, kasi dito sabi nila, we practice kiss. Kiss? Uh, So, you know what kiss is? What is that, ma'am? Sabi niya, keep it short and simple. So, nag-take ako ng cue doon. So, every time ako may sasagutin, I keep it short and simple. Pero sila, pati yung, oh, eto, niladladan ako ng ano, ng extension cord. Sabi, what's the easiest way para tiklopin yan? Eh, di ako kung ano lang yung alam ko. Dinampot ko, ginanyan ko lang ng ganyan. Ginaganyan na lang ako. Tapos, Binigyan ako na exam. Dalawang araw ako nag exam <laughs> Oo, tapos in, lahat yata ng exam. Talagang uh, na, naburyong ako sa kaya exam eh. Tapos talagang... interview, nag-interview sa akin, yeah. tatlo. Finally, natanggap ako. Ah. Eh, nung panahon na yun, that was in 1980s eh. Mm -hmm. oh, eh, ang binibigay sa akin na starting salary, 15,000. Eh, noon, pagka may 8,000 ka na Malaki starting na salary, ang laki na. na. Eh, supervisor ba naman? Kamukat mukat mo. Ako supervisor, ako din pala lahat. Kaya pala lahat tinakalang sa akin. Oo, oh, ito, kisina mo, ito, ano mo. But, uh, pero hindi rin ako nagtagal doon kasi, yun nga, eh, parang, parang hindi media related eh. So I was really looking for a media related job. So after, nagpano naman ako ng ano, kasi nung, tinit, nung binigyan na ako ng on-the-job training, parang uh, uh, 
papasok na ako. Nagsabi na ako na nakita ko ganito pala gagawin ko dito. Eh, parang sabi ko hindi, parang hindi yata ito yung para sa akin. Pero ang dami. Grabe, ang grabe mga kaya lahat na ng ano, lahat ng klase ng pan- pananakot, kumisan pati sa sa media, yung mga nag interview hmm. Yes, sila rin ni Jose. Hindi na lang natatandaan. Isa siya sa mga nag-interview sa akin noon. <laughs> Pero tanongin mo hindi niya na natatandaan. Pero tatandang-tanda mo ko Natatandaan ko yun. Pati yung mga nagpahirap sa akin noon, natatandaan ko lang. No, talagang... Pero, pero so, ipapasok yung, yung tanong din na how do you reconcile yung personal goal as against those expectation ng iba? Paano yun? Eh, ito lang yung, ito yung goal ko eh. Pero may iba pala yung expectation na... Dahil merong description uh, dun sa job na hinahanap so, nila. So, paano, paano magsusukatin ngayon? Personal effectiveness as against do sa dalawang yun. Um, dyan pumapasok yung integridad. Mm-hmm. Pag kilalang kilala mo yung sarili mo, you can adjust. At any given time, attorney, there are three energies apparently happening. The energy that you have as an individual, and then the energy that you decide to give to the person interviewing you, to the people working with you, And then, the energy that they give back to you. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan lahat yan, interconnected. So, what do you, what do you, what answer do you expect to that question, uh, what you tell me about yourself? Mm-hmm. Uh, As an interviewer, kasi syempre, yun ang toughest question that you think about. Mm-hmm. So, what is the toughest answer that you're expecting na iba to sa inyo, pabalik? Well, which aspect of myself would you like me to talk about? As a, or if uh, if I say in general, then you have to understand where I'm coming from with that question. Bakit ba kita tinanong? Mm-hmm. Tinetest ko ba yung competency mo? Mm-hmm. O narinig ko na lahat yung dapat kong marinig, nabasa ko na lahat na dapat kong mabasa tungkol sa'yo? And now I just want to be entertained. Mm-hmm. I just want to know the lighter side of you that's not in your resume. So what, what, what answer are you expecting then? Uh, I mean, uh, what would satisfy exactly. yung ano nyo? Yung... Uh, Uh, inyong desire na masagot yung tanong na yun para masabi mo na ah, okay, I will hire this person. Uh, sa sa pag-uusap naman, kuya, um, di ba two-way street daw? Yung uh, yung isa speaking, yung isa listening. Yung pinaka-busy na street, yung speaking, madaling magsalita eh. Mm-hmm. Ang uh, medyo, medyo walang masyadong traffic, yung listening. listening. Pag nakikinig yung tao, dun sa usapan, and then he gets asked, tell me about yourself, he would ask me then, ma'am, so far, uh, what have I, uh, are, are you happy with what I've mentioned? Can I add more? Ma'am, is there anything uh, anything in my background, anything in my experience that, uh, you would want to that, know. Uh, that interests you? Mm-hmm. I can talk about it uh, further. Basta yung, uh, yung which aspect? Kung ano yung uh, kung ano yung gusto kong makuha sa kanya, tanungin niya so he can give an intelligent answer. Mm-hmm. Most Otherwise, well, di ba uh, shoot for the star, shoot for the Most importantly, di ba ma'am, ma'am Sheila, yung mga nagtatanong na ganyan ng mga interviewers, gusto lang nila kasi kung inclined yung core values ng ng kumpanya doon sa mismo nag apply Kaya nila tinatanong yung ganun certain question. Tama. Either that o wala nang matanong. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, do you remember what I ask you? When I interviewed you, oh, the first, ano mga, ano tinanong ko sa yun ng interview kita? Oh my gosh, nakalimutan ko. Ah, sabi, oh bakak mama ya, gawin mo lang ako training ground dito, tapos umalis ka na. Eh, di naman tanong yun ni. Oh, de, de na lang ako na kuya siya mo. Oh, ano yung mga ano? Oh, parang tinanong mo, oh, galing ka pala ng traffic.com anong ginawa mo? Yun lang. Tapos sinab, sinabi ko na yung mga ginawa ko, nagreport, blah blah blah. Mm, tapos? <laughs> tapos binantaan mo na ako niya. Diba? Oh. <laughs> Yun na. Tapos wala na nakay- Tapos, tapos ito, tanong ko sa, sa, ito tanong ko sa kanya. Oh, ikaw, bakit nandito ka? Sabi ko doon sa asawa niya. <laughs> Ba't nandito ka? <laughs> Pinabantayan ako. <laughs> oh. Asawa niya sa interview yung asawa niya. Eh. Mm. Diba? Simple lang yung tanong. Pero Simple lang. If you, if you get off balance with that question, that will show. Mm-mm. Hindi pala nito kaya eh. Simpleng tanong eh. Mm-mm. Na-off na to eh. Yeah. How will this person react? Will he get intimidated? Will he get turned off? Ay, will naku, pag si Kuya, kahit gano'ng pang galing mo ng maging confident ko or what, kung pinractice ko yung mga sinabi niyo, honesty, sincerity, integrity, pag si Kuya kaharap mo, wala lahat yun. Wala yan. Wala <laughs> Hindi ba yung book? Hindi na. Yung sarili siyang book. Ano ka yan? Wala na, let go of everything else. Pag si Kuya kaharap 
Hindi kasi ako bookish. Ano ang favorite question to ask mo? Ako? Yes, Kuya. Hindi, uh, ako, basically, tinatanong ko talaga yung gusto kong malaman eh. Kasi, yung job related. Uh -huh. Oh, so, uh, do you, do you, do you, have you done this already? Mm, yun. Meron ka bang background sa ganito? Yeah. But pagka sinabing, oh, wala pa po na, no? Sa akin, hindi importante yung background. I can teach you that. Pero, what is your work attitude? Anong, <laughs> ano mo, anong, uh, yeah. uh, how, do, how, how do you actually perceive the company? Anong tingin mo dito sa kumpanya? Kasi that's basically, that's what I am asking them. Anong yeah. tingin mo dito sa kumpanya? Anong mararating mo dito? Anong, anong, ano mo, anong tingin mo na mangyayari sa'yo dito? Mm -hmm. uh, bakit ka nag apply dito? Bakit, di of all stations, why dito ka nag apply mm -hmm. So, basically, that's what I ask them. Eh. Why, why, why apply here? Anong, anong, ano mo, anong, ano nasa isip mo? Bakit dito ka nag apply Ang dami naman stasyon. Mm -hmm. You want to be a newscaster? Why here? You want to be a host? Why here? Mm -hmm. Anong anong ano mo? What do you have in mind? Yeah. So, ba, do, from there, you will you will get a lot of things already. Eh. Oh, madedetermine mo sa why questions actually kuya yung purpose ng tao. Eh. Mm -hmm. Pero immediately ang reaction ng ini-interview, ano nga ba yung sasabihin ko? Ano nga ba yung idadagdag ko? Dapat ano ba yung gusto niya marinig? Dapat tanungin mo rin sarili mo. Bakit? Why? Kasi, 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 kasi ang, pro, ang problema ang problema kasi doon uh, pagka naging pretentious ka yeah, yeah. mahala ka mahala ka alam mo sinabi mo I believe po kasi that the, this company is ganyan ganyan to come on pull my Able leg diba? <laughs> my knowledge <laughs> yung, my skills yung, yung, to yung, the yung, betterment diba? I'd be able to come contribute come on to diba? and my skills to the betterment of this to the betterment of this company I am no longer wet behind the ears pwede pa na interview ko dito may eto eto yung interview ko hi kuya naku naalala ko umiyak iyak pa ako nyan iniyakan ka pala actually si Sir Jerry ay nag-interview sa akin pero narinig ko na yung Kuya Daniela son, pero hindi ko alam na siya pala yun parang, oh my tapos masyado ba kong casual <laughs> tapos sa unang tanong ni Kuya sa akin ba't ka nandito tapos parang <laughs> ah naghahanap po ako ng trabaho kasi wala na po akong trabaho <laughs> eh may mga ano eh kung ba na-interview kita hindi si Monica in-interview ba kita in-interview kita oh. ano tinanong ko sa'yo eh alam mo kasi saan ako nanggaling So, unang tanong mo sa akin, anong nangyari <laughs> sa pinagalingan ko? <laughs> ah, gano'n, gano'n. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, what happened? Nagkaintindihan tayo doon. Uh, okay, okay. Ano nangyari sa'yo? Oo. Eh, oh, oh. eh, oh, bakit ka, no? Ba't ka, ba't ka umalis doon? Umalis ka ba? Inalis ka? <laughs> Kasi I'm a person na, ano eh, I, I do not actually pretend. Eh. Yeah. Parang, ah, uh, What you see is what, what you, you get. get. Sa akin, parang, I speak my mind. Ayoko nung pag, uh, parang, tatago ng ano. Kaya, and even in my interviews sa Get It Straight, parang, yeah. sa, I, I do not uh, ask questions dahil meron akong ibang motibo. I ask questions yeah. dahil, I, I yun na alam kong kailangan masagot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At I am also trying to verbalize the questions of other people na hindi pwedeng itanong sa'yo yun. Mm -mm. Kasi hindi lahat ng tao pwedeng makapagtanong or will be given the chance to ask you those questions. Yeah. Or will even if they will be given the chance to ask the question, they will not ask the question dahil either mag-hesitate sila, yeah. intimidated sila, or whatever it is. So, yeah. ganun ang ano ko. Pero sila, ewan ko, kahit kasama ko lang sa news yung mga yan, na-intimidate, hindi ko alam bakit. <laughs> Pawis ng kamay. Pawis-pawis. <laughs> Pawis-pawis <laughs> pawis no, kamay. Pero di, di po ba, Ma'am Sheila, no? uh, one of the uh, uh, parang uh, challenges na may encounter mo talaga sa interview is yung intimidation. Kasi yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. yung nagi interview sinasadya nilang mang intimidate. Yeah. There definitely are pressure interviews, Kuya. Uh -huh. to, to check the behavior of the person, how you respond to to critical situations. Kasi ito yung mga criteria na hindi madaling ma-measure eh. Mm -hmm. Ano ba yung mga measurable competencies? Yung pananalita mo, yung grammar mo, mm -hmm. di ba? Yung pagtayo mo, yung pananamit mo, pero yung ugali mo, mm -hmm. yeah. yung, uh, Mahirap, yung sa pag mo, sa pagsubok, yeah. hindi yan ma-measure. Ma 
So a good interviewer will usually pose either difficult questions or will be difficult himself para makita kung ano talaga yung lalabas sa pagkatao mo. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, that will tell him a lot about you and how you will handle uh, the, the responsibility. Tsaka, Ma'am Sheila, ako, hindi ako specific kasi, kasi most of the time, pagka nag-handle ka ng interview, yung ini-interview mo, they will always try to speak in other language mm -hmm. that they think will impress you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, halimbawa, mag english na mag english yan. Ay, palutin. Eh, ako kasi, I, I believe na English is a language. But it's not a measure of intelligence. intelligence. True. True. So, it's just a means. Oh, yeah. pa, pagka pinilit mo, yung Bakit intelligence na? mo actually ma-hamper. Dahil hindi mo ma-express ng tama yung sarili Totoo. mo. So mm -hmm. sa akin, speak in such a way na kung tinanong ka ng English, try to answer in English. Okay. Kung tinanong ka ng Tagalog, try to answer in, in Tagalog. Pero kung hindi mo talaga ma-express yung sarili mo dun sa language where you were asked, eh... Bakit hindi ka sumagot kung saan ka komportable? Bakit ka magpapanggap to be somebody not you and magkakabalid-balid ka naman, magkakabigay-bigay ka naman ng mga maling, hindi mo ma-express yung gusto mo sabihin. Yeah, and in reality, the interviewer really wants to see your personality. So your personality has to shine. Kung kaya mong palitan yung personality mo, every time there is a different interviewer, it is not a skill. It is not creativity. Kaya nga, sabi nila, multiple personality disorder. Mm. Uh, makikita yung, uh, makikita yung kababawan. Makikita yung kababawan. Pag iba-iba uh, iba yung personality mo, isang personality nga lang, hirap sundan eh. Punya mo. Iba-ibahin mo pa. Iba Lahat ng word for the day, so, nagamit. Yeah. Sa isang sentence. Uh, <laughs> 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 hindi naman tumutugma. <laughs> hindi naman tumutugma. Parang kinuha lahat eh. Impress na impress ka sa vocabulary mo, sa sarili mo, pwede ka naman maintindihan hindi hanong tao. Oh. What, what's the point? Ano, magpakatotoo ka. Actually, si Einstein has a very uh, strong line when it comes to communication and first impression. Mm -hmm. If a six-year-old child cannot understand what you're talking about, then you yourself are confused about yes. your message. Mm. Kung may pamangkin ka, may anak ka, o isipin mo, yung batang yan, pag nakatayo dyan or pag nakaupo katabi ng interviewer, what kind of feeling will that person get? Will he get inspired? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Medyo Ma, will he look up to you as a role model? Communicate to the child as you talk to the interviewer so you can concentrate on the message. Mm. Because if you uh, get concentrated on impressing the interviewer, most likely nagsasalita ka pero hindi mo alam yung sinasabi mo. Mm -hmm. So what's oh, the point? Okay. Okay. Very At the end of the day, yeah? kailangan talaga mag magpakatotoo ka. Di ba? Sincerity yung sinasabi niyo, yes. ma'am. Ma of course, and know your heart's desire. Alright, mm -hmm. ma'am, saan po ulit ang talk shop para po sa, I'm sure everybody's interested magpa-training sa inyo. Well, for personal effectiveness training, mm -hmm. leadership uh, programs, communication uh, excellence, and personality development courses, you can find us uh, in Makati, the website is www.talkshop.ph mm -hmm. and they can reach us at 894-5588. We're open all week. Yeah, and it's always good to have you, Miss Sheila Biesca. Yes, likewise. Yes. Thank you, Angela. Oh, oh, marami pang oh, topic yan. Yes. Very, ma ma masarap makipagkwentuhan sa ganyan kasi uh, marami kang ano, marami kang makukuha ang idea and the people Wisdom. also will have the idea na pagharap ninyo sa interview Yes. Kasi like, uh, Ma'am Sheila is also a CEO, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, uh, she also handles interview. Kaya alam niya din yung mga ganong mga situation. situation. And yung personal effectiveness na sinasabi niya is something that you really need to bring dun sa... And very, sa akin, very crucial sa akin, pag, bago ko tanggapin ng isang empleyado sa trabaho, tinitignan ko talaga ano kaya ang possible na work attitude nito. Mm -hmm. Kasi... Yung skill, pwede yung ituro eh. Pwede yung ma-develop yan eh. Pero yung attitude is something that you cannot just simply change overnight. It will really take some time para kung sakali man. But that's very difficult. Yung pananaw ng tao, yung ugali, yung papano ba ito. Because one of the things that I believe is that ako, kausap mo ngayon, maybe mabait ka sa akin. Mm -mm. Pero others, you're not going to work with just me. Dahil and sa iba ba ka magtatrabaho, hindi ka naman sa opisina ko eh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sa opisina ko, baka sakali mabantayan kita. Pero pag halimbawa, tingin ko sa'yo, may kasutilang ka, 
eh, ang katrabaho mo nasa iba ba? Di ba barakuhin mo lang yung lahat ng mga katrabaho mo? And then, di ba? Yeah, Mahirap sir. yung ganun. Yeah. So, I'll, ako, pa panuntunan ko yun. If I may, uh, if I may add, no, as a final right. point, as I mentioned earlier, it boils down to the decision you make. Kumpleto ka na eh, ginawa ka ng Diyos na, naka, na pwede kang matuto. Pwede kang, pwede mong pagbutihin ang pagkatao mo. So whatever it is you have gone through, whatever it is you're going through, make sure to uh, to use them para mas uh, mapagbuti mo yung pananaw mo, yung pakikitungo mo sa ibang tao, yung pag-uugali mo, pananalita mo. In everything that you do, there has to be the the choice Hi, to accept. Hi, maraming salamat po ulit ni Sheila Vietcang, CEO and Lead Consultant ng Talk Shop. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Sheila. At